Welcome back to Poetic Philosophy, episode number 108, and today's show is all about autumn. Why? Because we are in autumn. Those of us who have four seasons in their year understand the truth of the season, that autumn is about change. Some are afraid of change. Some embrace change. But change always happens. We try and live one way and Sometimes we find we've traveled down the wrong path, but a path is a path. It's a direction, a choice. The real reason why we choose to go down a path is to learn the lessons of that path. Once we learn the lessons of the current path, we can choose another path. True freedom is the choice, whether it comes out good or bad. What we learn on one path, we can use on another path. We are here to learn gain a knowledge, and turn that knowledge into wisdom. I hope you enjoy this show about autumn as its season of change and find its wisdom. And remember to always stay creative in the magic of life. The first poem is entitled Cool Autumn Day. The day in August is cool, foreshadowing what's to come, calmness in the present day, I see my reflection reflected in the season. Light ripples in the lake, birds singing their songs, ducks glide on the surface. I too do my thing. Tree looks down and sees this scene. Bench next to the tree waits for humans to do the same. They're stuck in their fear. But time is to come when humans too shall be calm, for good or ill. Choice is always yours. And I think uh, autumn, well, sometimes people get hectic through uh, through autumn because the harvest and all that stuff. I think overall it's uh, a season for help us to help us relax. And it's not as cold as winter. I think winter helps us do that too. This uh, other poem too is about autumn as well and it's entitled lizard dreaming go beyond time and space visions from afar let me say that again lizard dreaming go beyond time and space visions where from afar live find all ideas on the buddhic plane through intuition starts with a question on earth we discover our reflections and mind astral and mental two planes plus earth the seven within this garden we manifest our creations both good and bad through that knowledge we come to know and before the next poem uh, let us get a little promo here Hi, this is Will Brown from Cloudy Day Art, and you're listening to The Right Stuff with Robert G. Parent. Eternal words are more than words. Regular words only transmit information or data. Eternal words paint a picture in the mind and transmit principles which are never forgotten. This is why the Master called them words that shall not pass away. This book contains numerous eternal words, words that shall not pass away from the memory of the reader. Within its pages, he or she will find many principles which will elevate the mind to new vision, to a higher plane of seeing that shall be retained. The writer takes the reader on a quest for the third key of communion. We learn the reason teachings of light are distorted over the generations, about higher perceptions, principles of creation, the beginning and end of the universe, residual reading, and much more. In the end... There is a powerful confrontation with evil, a superhuman test, and a solution that takes us from inside the atom to a revelation of the whole universe and its destiny. Brace yourself to go where you have not gone before. This book is Eternal Words by J.J. J. Dewey. You can find this book 
at the author's website at freeread.com. That's F-R-E-E-R-E-A-D.com. Again, the website, F-R-E-E-R-E-A-D.com. Or go over to Amazon.com to find Eternal Words by J.J. Dewey. These are words that shall not pass away. Yeah, that was a yeah, that was a good book. I definitely do recommend people to read it. Um, of course, you can go to uh, JJ Dewey's YouTube site. Um, he's doing something else on there, going through the uh, the Book of Revelation. Um, Cloudy Day Art, Will Brown. I don't think he's doing Cloudy Day Art anymore, but you can find him over at X. And now the next poem is entitled, An Autumn Day. Gray puffy clouds overhead create an autumn mood. mood. People move to and fro, some notice, some don't, and some just enjoy. The autumn wind plays tag with the leaves, while others gather in the corners by concrete steps, brick buildings, and simple wooden fences. Some leaves just play with cars as they do move on their own journeys. Others play on lawns and uh, others play on lawns with children in their acts of innocence. Tree and squirrel do prepare for the winter's frost. Children return to school. Parents prepare for winter's treasure. Autumn's truly a busy season as everyone does what they do or even to, just to enjoy the autumn. And we all find a way to enjoy autumn. Get out there. Uh, take a drive in the country. Take a look at the, uh, uh, go someplace where the leaves change, because that's really something uh, wonderful to see, if you've never seen that before. The last poem is entitled, What If? I wake in the morn, a thought comes. Am I still sleeping in intensive care after my heart operation? Is all this a mental construct, a dream created by me? All I see now, yesterday and tomorrow, even these words I write and rewrite. I dreamed last night, recreating my room. What if this was one of those? How do I know what is really real? Maybe that's what life's all about. And that was the last poem, and that's just something to think about. How do we know that this is real? You know, there's talk about the afterlife dimension, and some even say that's the real life. And where we're living now is the dream world, where you can still get hurt and killed and all that fun stuff. But uh, just some things to think about. Try not to get too uh, anxious out there on your journey, just in case this is only a dream. And, uh, you know, next time someone pisses you off, just say, this is only a dream. And... uh, Relax. Anyways, just some thoughts to think about. Hope you listen to the show many more times. Um, Listen to the poetry. Go out. Check some trees out. And, uh, of course, stay creative in the magic of life. And autumn is definitely an awesome season to get creative in. So write a song. Paint. Write a poem. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Podcast Blaster.